to our panel of guests joining us today, Advocate P. Krishnadas from the BJP is with us. Gautam Seth of the Congress Party is also joining us. Dr. Jairaj, political analyst. K.A. Shaji, senior journalist from Kerala, is with us today on the broadcast. I'm going to take this across uh, to the Congress Party. Interesting statements, Mr. Seth, coming up time and again. And, you know, we saw from the likes of Annie Raja, who's contesting against Rahul Gandhi in Vaina, the initial statement that came in from the CPS, why is Rahul Gandhi even concentrating in a seat where the fight is not against the BJP? If he is trying to lead a nation full of political parties against the BJP, then his primary fight should have been against the BJP was the question that first came up. I think when we say that Rahul Gandhi is not concentrating on fighting the Bharatiya Janata Party, anybody in this nation would laugh because the country knows that there is one leader fighting tooth and nail against this draconian prime minister who is leading the unprecedented dictatorial rule in the country called Narendra Modi. It is Rahul Gandhi who was disqualified by, from the parliament, reinstated by the Supreme Court. It was Rahul Gandhi whose house was taken away by this draconian government and you know then he refused to take it back. It was Rahul Gandhi who was interrogated in a false acquisition by the ED in which the enforcement directorate has failed to actually prove anything at all. And when you question about the choice of his seat, I'm sorry, 2019, you have to go back to why not elected Rahul Gandhi as the member of parliament? He is the sitting member of parliament from why not? What do you expect? Shouldn't he go back to the people who voted for him? Shouldn't he contest for the people who stood by him? So he is doing nothing unusual. He's not an outsider. In 2019, the people of Vainad elected Rahul Gandhi and Rahul Gandhi is the only leader in the country who has shown the courage to not put his foot down, to not bow down in front of these draconian people sitting in power today. Rather, Rahul Gandhi, as you know, shown what the Congress stands for, not relented a bit, not backed an inch, not flinched from the Congress ideology. And the Congress will continue to do that. When you talk about Kerala, let me tell you very certainly, all 20 seats, mark my words on this debate today, let Prime Minister Narendra Modi go there and do about 30, 40, 50 more public rallies, do as many roadshows as he wants to. 20 seats, 20 on 20, the Congress-led front is going to win in Kerala and we are absolutely confident about it. Mr. Said, it's not about Kerala. Okay, we'll, we'll, I'm not going to get into let, let I'll allow both of you all, of course, to speculate on the numbers that you're getting the left and, you know, the Congress and even including the BJP. I'm not going to get into the numbers aspect of it. I'm also not going to get into the aspect of whether the infighting between the Congress and, you know, the left in Kerala, how much of an advantage is going to be for BJP in Kerala? But how much of an advantage is it going to be for Kerala when you look at the national picture? Because if you couldn't really solve the entire issue, like you said, you know, Rahul Gandhi contested one by a thumping margin last time around from Vainad. Now, while, of course, there have been multiple talks that have been held as far as alliance seat sharing in various states, at least for even Vainad, if this discussion couldn't have been held, then that does show there's something inherently wrong with this alliance and that is something that many uh, would like, like to comment upon and the BJP definitely will look to exploit and that's exactly what's happening over the last few weeks. Uh, you know okay. Deepak, this is a national election. This is not a state election. We are fighting in alliance with the Aam Admi Party in Delhi but we are not fighting in an alliance with the Aam Admi Party. But in Aam Kerala Aam it has almost become every as if it's a state, state election has, because alliances at the national level are, are, are at loggerheads at the state level. So it has almost become as, as if it's a state level fight and it's a separate election that's happening in Kerala. Go ahead, go if ahead. But I'm just, I'm just reminding you what's happening in Kerala. Yes, please, please go. Please allow me to complete. The issue here is that we are fighting to save the constitution. We are fighting to save the misuse of the public agencies. We are fighting to move out this 10 years of a Nyay Kal led by Narendra Modi in this country. And for that, whatever compromises we have to make for the larger interest, we are doing. But every state has different equations. We are fighting with different parties in alliance in different states. And there are some states in which the same parties are not in alliance with us. And that's how diversity is existing in the India alliance. That is what India stands for, unity in diversity. That is what India Alliance stands for, unity in diversity.